Talmud Bavli Gemar Brachot, Perk Shlishi, Daf Chav Gimel Bet, Chapter 3, Page 23b. Um, I'll just start from uh, the sentence on the page before. Ki havana ki tefillin lo hava yehivlan. If he was holding tefillin, he would not give them to us. Amar, he would say, Ho'il v'sharun hu rabbanan, since the rabbi has permitted them, you know, the top of the, of the, of Kaf Gimel Bet, Nin Teran, let them protect me while I'm inside. Amarava, Rava said, ki havaz linan batre de Rav Nachman, when we would follow Rav Nachman, and he needed to go to the toilet, ki hava nakit sifra, the Agadita, if he was holding a book of Agadita, of Agada, Yahivlan, he would give up, give it to us, Ki Havanaki Tvilin, but if he was holding Tvilin, Lo Yahivlan, he would not give it to us, take, and he would take them in with him. Amar, he said, Ho'il, Vesharun, and Rabbanan, in Tehran, since the rabbis permitted taking him into the toilet, let them protect me inside. So he took him inside. Tan Rabbanan, Rabbis taught number Raisa, Lo yochaz adam tefillin biador. A person should not hold tefillin in his hand. Vesefet to Rabbi Zroor, a Torah scroll in his arm. Meet parallel and, and pray. Velo yashin bahen mayim. No mayim urinate with tefillin in his hand. Velo yishan bahen no may sleep with him. Lo shenat keva lo. Velo shenat arai. Neither a fixed sleep nor a nap. Ama Shmuel. Shmuel said, Sakin uma ot ukar a. Vichy bar, a knife, money, a plate of food, and a loaf of bread. Hare elu kayote bahen. These are similar to, to filling in a Torah scroll, in that you shouldn't hold them while praying because it distracts you. Amarava, Amarav Sheshet, Rava said in the name of Rav Sheshet, Leitil Chatakiha Matnita, the Halacha does not follow this Baraisa, Devet Shamaihi, as it is the opinion of Beit Shamai, De E Beit Hilel, for if um, if uh, it's the opinion of Beit Hillel, Hashda Beit Hakise Kavua Share, now even an established toilet, Beit Hillel permits taking tefillin inside. Beit Hakise Arai Mi Baya, and a temporary latrine, a temporary toilet. Can there be any question um, about permitting this? Mite Me Tive, they challenge this. Devarim shehitati lechakan, the things that I permitted for you here, asarti lechakan, I forbid you for you there. My love, tefillin, is it not, uh, or can't we not presume to take tefillin into a toilet? I amat bishlam beit hilel. So it's understandable if you say that beit hilel uh, allows this. Hitati lechakan kavua. I permitted for you here for a fixed toilet, for an established toilet. Asati lechakan beit hakisa arai. I forbid you there in the case of a temporary toilet. Ela i amat beit shamai. But if you'll say that the Baraisa follows beit shamai, ha lo sharu velomidu. Why they do not permit taking tefillin into an established toilet at all? Kitanya hahi regarding what what was uh, that taught le inyan tefach utfachaim regarding the tefach and tutfachim that you're admitted that you are allowed to expose yourself in a latrine in a toilet detane chada it was taught in a baraisa kashehu nifne when one relieves himself, Megale ala akhrav tefach, he may expose one tefach behind himself. A tefach, by the way, is a handbreadth. Ulefanav tefachayim, and in his front he can expose two tefachayim, two tefachim. Vetanya idach, he was taught in a different price, ala akhrav tefach, behind himself, just one tefach. Ulefanav elob klum, and in front nothing at all. My love, iti ve iti ve ish. Can we presume that both of these refer to a man? Velokasha, velokasha, and it's not contradictory. 
can ligdolim. One is for uh, gdolim, which is the word large, is for defecation. Can liktanim, which is the word small. This is for urination, when urinating. Betispera, but do you really consider this reasonable? Ibiktanim, if with urinating la'acharav, tefach lamali, why is it necessary to have a tefach behind yourself exposed? Ela idi ve idi bigdolim, rather both of these are talking about defe- about defecating. Velokasha, and it, there is no contradiction. Ha ish, one is for a man. Ha isha, one is for a woman. Ihachi, if this is so. Ha de katane Allah, that which was taught in regard to the previous teaching. Zehu kalva chome she'ena lav tshuva. This is a kalva that has no refutation against it. My ain e alav tshuva. What is the kalva that has no refutation against it? Daka de milta hachiita. The way of the matter is this. Ela lav tfilin rather. Um, it is not rule, uh, talking about the ruling of tfilin. Utyuvta de Rava Amar Rav Sheshet and a refutation of Rava in the name of Rav Sheshet. Tiuvta, it is in fact a refutation. Mikal Makon Kasha, nevertheless, it is difficult to understand this. Hashta Beta Kisekavo Share, so Beit Hillel even permits. Taking Tefillin into an established toilet, Beit Hakise Arai Lo Kol Sheken. They should not, shouldn't they? Certainly be allowed to bring them into a temporary toilet while urinating. Hachi Kama. This is what the Barai Sar means mean, meant to say. Beit Hakise Kavua Deleka Nitzotzit. In established latrine, uh, there are no droplets of urine that come on your feet. Share Beit Hilo permits taking Tefillin in and holding them. Beit Hekise Arai De Ika Nitzotit in a temporary toilet. There are droplets that come onto your feet because um, when it falls on the floor, it bounces up and falls on your feet. Asre Beit Hilo forbids ta- taking Tefillin in and holding them. So we're just going to scroll down to the bottom. So we're on the screen, uh, we're standing from the beginning of the line, Ihachi, uh, from Ihachi Amai, um, which is about uh, roughly halfway down the bottom wide section. <coughs> Ihachi, if so, Amai Eina La Tshuva, why is the no refutation against the Kalva Chomer Tshuva Ma'alaita He. This is a valid refutation of the Kalva Chomer Hachi Kamar. This is what the Tana says. Ha Milta. This matter of carrying Tulin into a toilet. Te Te La Betorat Tama. You must approach it on the basis of the reason of a reason. Velo Te Te La Be Kalva Chomer. And one should not, should not approach it. On leniency and stringency. De i atya la betorat kavachome. For if you would approach it on the basis of leniency and stringency. Zehu kavachome she'ena la tshuva. This is a kavachome that has no refutation against it. Tnur tanu rabbanan. The rabbi is torna braisa. Haratzele kanes. Lesudat keva. One who wishes to go into a formal meal. Mehalech asara pamayim, pamayim arba amot, should walk ten times for amot, or arba pamayim eser amot, one or four times ten amot, veipane, vacha kach nichnas, and afterwards go into it the meal. Ama rabbi Yitzchak, rabbi Yitzchak said, hanichnas, excuse me, hanichnas lesodat keva, one who is going into a formal meal, 
kolets, tefila, racha kach nichnas, should remove his tefila and afterwards go into eat the meal. O pliga de rabbi, chia, this is in disagreement with Rabbi Chia, to Amar Rabbi Chia, for Rabbi Chia said, min manichan al shulchano, one should place tefila on his table, vechen hadulo, and this befits him. Ba'ad Aimat until when at Filin to be kept off, Amar Ravna Khan Bayitra Ravna Khan Bayitak said, Ad Mambracha until the time of Birkanamazon, at which time you put them back on. Tane Khada, it was taught in a Baraisa, Sorer Adam Tfilav Im Meotav Ba'ab. Ba'afarak suto, a person may wrap his tefillin together with his money in, in his kerchief. <coughs> this is not your tefillin, uh, like a piece of cloth. Vetanya yidach, and it was taught in another baraisa loyato, and he does not. One may not wrap them together with his tefillin. Lokasha, not a difficulty. Had asmane, this is where one designated the kerchief for holding the tefillin. Had this is uh, um, this is where he did did not designate the kerchief for holding the tefillin. Dama rachista, rachista said, Hai sudara did tefillin, dasmane lemeta be tefillin, a tefillin scarf that was de- designated for wrapping tefillin in it. Sar beit filin one wraps filin in it. Asul the meta beit shite he's forbidden to wrap coins. Also wrap coins in it because he actually designated it as holding filin for holding filin. As mene velo tsar bay if he designated it for holding filin but did not yet put filin in it. Sar bay velo mene. Or he wrapped fill in it but did not designate it. Share le meitza be zuze, he's permitted to put zuzim coins into it. Ul abaye de amar hazmana miltahi, but according to abaye, who says that designation is a matter of significance, azmane, if he, one designated the scarf, putting fill in it, afal gav de be, even if he did not yet put fill in it. Um, <coughs> he can't use it for putting coins in. Tsarbe, if he wrapped tefillin in it, he has many asir. If he designated it for tefillin, it is forbidden to wrap coins in it. I lo asmane lo, but if he did not designate it for tefillin, it is not forbidden to put coins in it. Ba'a. Ba'amine Rav Yosef Bereita Rav Nechunya Merav Yoda Barav Yosef The son of Rav Nechunya <coughs> Inquired of Rav Yoda Mahu Shiani Chadam Tfilav Tachat Merishotav What it <coughs> What's the law regarding a person Putting his feeling under his headdress When he goes to sleep Tachat Maglotav Loka Mi Baili I did not inquire about putting them under his footrest because that is definitely forbidden. Shinoheg Bahem Minhag Bizayon, since one would be treating him in a disgraceful manner. Hikami Baili, what do I inquire about? Tahat Mer Shatav, under his headrest, what is the law? Amale, he said to Rav Yosef, the son of Rav Nechunya. Hachi Amar Shmuel, this is what Shmuel said. Mutar Afilu Ishto Imo, it is permitted even when one's wife is next to him. Metive, uh, when one's wife is next to you, this means that uh, they might or are probably engaged in sexual activity. Metive, that is a challenge. They challenge Shmuel from the Baraisa. A person may not place his tefillin under his footrest. Because he would be treating him in a disgraceful manner. However, he may place them under his headdress. But if his wife is with him, it is forbidden. If there was an area... Uh, protruding from his headrest that is three tefachim higher or namuk shlosha tefachim or three tefachim lower so either t- three tefachim higher than the bed or three tefachim lower than the bed mutar it is permitted to put the tefillin there even if your wife is with you 
Tiuv ta di Shmuel is the refutation of Shmuel. Tiuv ta, yes, it is indeed a refutation. Amar Rava Rava said, Af al kav detanya tiuv ta di Shmuel, although we were taught in Baraisa, a refutation of Shmuel, Hilchata kavate, the halacha follows him. Maitama, what is the reason?